I am pulling up this page here. I realize all the things that I need to have up and open and ready, and I was scrambling to get everything all ready to go. So uh, yes, I, I, and it, it's always going to be that way in the beginning, you guys. So don't uh, be hard yeah. on yourselves. Okay, so let me explain what you want to focus on and not focus on, so that you guys have a clarity. Either on your desktop with soft copies, or print it out and put it in a real regular folder, and put certain documents. In. So let me show you this one. This this one is something you're going to use when you lead a group, and it's something you're going to do in advance of your mentoring session. And I would encourage you, if you don't think of it typically, create a few of them so that when it's time to do your mentoring with each other, you have a way of expressing it. And you wanna make sure that you're considering your pacing when you're leading a group or when you're doing your mentoring. If you're going over purpose, you don't wanna give a 10 minute video. You just want it to be something that makes the purpose come alive in a new way. And it also taps you into your heart energy, which is your creativity. Because otherwise it can become very dry and boring and like just it works. So when you print this or put this in a soft folder, yes, when you go to lead your group session, it'll be in your folder for that. But it's something that you want to do for the mentoring sessions. And when you get in the habit of it, it's going to help you any place you want to inspire people to do something different. Another thing, when you click on it, you only have to open it once and put it somewhere. You can download this PDF. It's more vanilla, but it gives you the same information. That the most important thing about this mentoring is supporting task ownership and developing this emotional intelligence. And they're both connected. And I'll tell you why. Because everybody's really good at learning things. We're not good at putting them into motion. So everything in the mentoring is transfer of responsibility my goal is to get you to answer a question in such a way that you know what kind of next step to take and that you make it a specific measurable step and that you give, make it time bound. And that way I'm transferring that to you and you're picking it up. I'm not giving you the answer. I'm asking you the question so that you pull the answer from yourself. That is what emotional and social intelligence is. It's self and social awareness and it's self and social or relationship management. Okay. So if you find yourself in this mentoring, giving advice, giving counsel, putting your own opinion in there, saying, oh, that's great. That is not, that's not this kind of mentoring. This kind of mentoring is I'm focused 100% on you and helping you pull your own critical thinking into the moment. Let's say a question is asked and the person goes off into some kind of tangent about it. You want to say, time out. I just want the core bottom line of what your answer is on that because Otherwise, you're going to be way over 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. You don't want to ask questions like, well, why, why are you doing that? Why is that happening? Because why is going to lead you into therapy and analysis, and that's not what this is. What will you do? How will you do it? You might say who if it's like, I'm going to help somebody with the purpose. Well, who are you going to help? That's when who is okay. Otherwise, it's, well, who did that? And who's to blame for that? And that's not helpful. You don't want to go off course. You don't want the person to go off course. If they start to go off course, do not indulge them. There was one of your, your group was trying to not answer the question the way it was asked. And the mentor tried to adjust to give them that. And I'm like, no, no, don't do that. Because you're now veering off course and you're losing the intention of the questions. You also don't want to wing it. A lot of people resist this template idea because they think it's too artificial. Every question is intended for a reason. So you don't want to wing it. And you will be able to wing it in a way when you get to month eight, because you're going to have a standardized template then that you're going to apply a lot of what you've been learning and what you continue to learn. But in the meantime, take my word for it. I don't mean you can't change a word, but don't go off on the totally other questions. Okay. This one is huge. Let's say I asked Don a question. And he says, well, I probably could go to my wife and do blah, blah, blah. What word is avoidance? Probably. Probably. Or I'll try. Or maybe yeah. I could do this. When the person is avoiding, it doesn't mean they're being rebellious. It could be. But most of the time, it means that there's a barrier that they're not even conscious of. So you might say, I noticed there's a little hesitation. What keeps you from getting to a want? It's more like understanding what's going on. Don't interject your own agenda. In other words, even saying, oh, I like that answer is interjecting your own agenda. Mm -hmm. I had uh, a customer 
and I was observing and taking notes. And afterwards I said, how do you feel like you did? Did you fall into any pitfalls? And she said, well, I think once or twice I started to put my own opinion in there and I caught myself. And I said, you want to know how many times I counted that you did that? And it was 13 hatch marks. And I said, I don't say that to embarrass you. I just say that because you're probably not conscious of it. And the next time I oversaw her, she did not do it. It's just about recognizing sometimes in waking up to something. And you'll start to see each other say, oh, I'll probably do this. And then you'll go, wait a minute. I don't mean probably. I want to do this. You know, so you'll self-correct. But as the mentor, you're helping them really pick up that responsibility, not just halfway pick it up. If you do this the way that we're talking about here, you should not have problems managing your time. You don't want to say too much. You want to ask the questions. Don't try to ask them 12 different ways. You don't want to say, I'm just going to skip this session. And your customers are going to do this, you guys. When you're overseeing, they're going to go, well, we, we, we had to use our mentoring session for, you know, some big thing that just came up. Okay, then you need to reschedule your mentoring because that is not okay to skip. Okay, you want them to get in the habit of doing this regularly. So that's this. And we went over this. This is see your whole group. When you click on Don, for example, and you click print full profile, it will download the whole profile on Don and vice versa so that you can put them in your folders. And I would put both of them in there because you want to know yourself and you want to know the other person. Document can overwhelm at first because there's so much in it. But let's say the very first time you're working with Sinet. I'm just going to put you in here, Sinet. And one thing I notice about you is you're consistent, whether you're at work or at play. So Don, let's say you're looking at Sinet's but right before the mentoring. You want to remember that she likes concise and fast. She enjoys it being fun. She enjoys it freedom with it. She also likes the systematic part of it, of things and the competency. Yeah. But let's say you've done that, like you did, because Don, yours are good. I'm not saying they're bad at all. But when you've done that, let's say the next time you mentor her, you go just one page down in her profile and you say, oh, how does she like to communicate? I'm going to write a few things down about how she likes to communicate or I'll go down to what stresses her out. And I'm going to put that in here because that starts helping you really know her. So this is the group blueprint. In other words, it's my blueprint. That's the one we're using to focus our energy upward. Now that does not mean you're not gonna remember your own purpose because your own purpose is gonna be asked about as well because it is so integral to who you are at your best. Mm -hmm. So when you pull that up, you could even put it in your folder and then you don't even have to have it up on a screen. Okay, but that's, that's there. This is the thing, I do not want you to print them all out in advance. Like even yesterday, I changed this slightly. I found a typo and I found something that needed more clarification. So they're gonna all be a little different. And you know what, up until recently, I never even suggested that people go out ahead of time and answer these questions, but I think it's a good idea. You open and close every mentoring with appreciation. Awesome. Don't wanna do is have them give it back to you because it's all about them. And a lot of times people feel like, oh, well, let me tell you what I appreciate about you. No, no, this is all about you right now. The other reason we put notice whether they receive it is sometimes people push it away. I'm not that great. Or, oh, you should have seen me this morning. I was terrible. Say, hey, I want you to really take this in. And you might say it again and say, oh, just receive it. And then they'll say, thank you. It's important they don't push it away. Yeah. Now, this is going to be really important for you to remember. You guys probably know what SMART goals are. But sometimes when you get to asking them, it's not always done properly. When you ask for the SMART goal answer, you should be able to picture exactly what they're doing. So let's say that you guys answer with a SMART step. It does not mean you're signing up it for it for life. In fact, smaller is better. Say I'm gonna do this SMART step for three days. That can be better than 20 days unless you really wanna do it 20 days mm -hmm. because you know when you started it, what your intention was and when you finished it. And you feel the success of it and you're, going to write notes down. You're going to jot little notes down. And then afterwards, when you fill out this form, like there's a question in this one that says, what are, some, what are three things that you want us to remember about your colors that would help you in this mentoring? 
you would probably want to write them there. That's what I did. Let's say Sinet commits to six or seven things. You would say commitments, one, blah, 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 two, blah, blah, blah. You want to put by when so that you have a record of it. You might want to say some things over here if you run out of room over here. Down here, this is going to be more important when you standardize on the template. So you just want to say no relationship problems, if, you know, unless you want to, and then you can put some things in. And you just, because these are required, so just answer them. And then you go and hit the submit button. And what happens is an email will be sent to you with everything that you typed in up here. Mm -hmm. I would say share it with the other person because the mentor gets it, but the mentee wants to remember what they committed to. If there's something that you feel strongly about, you want to put some of these things in your own calendar. I'm going to check in with Sanette in the middle of the week and see how she's doing on commitments one through five. Not because you're policing her, but because you're hurting her. How's it going? How's that? How did that feel? Oh, you didn't get it done? Uh, do you want to recommit to it? Was there any reason you think maybe you got scared to follow through? You know, like, because we're doing things all the time that are unconscious. So yeah. you're not trying to get anybody. You're just trying to bring things up into the space. Don, what I appreciate about you is how passionate you are, not only about the environment and all of that, but about LifeWork Systems and what it stands for and about your own purpose. I just really appreciate your convictions, your passion, and your in full engagement. Just love that about you. Thank you. All right. So the purpose, as you know, is to create a world in which all people love their lives. The reason I love that is because there's so much that we are, that we have to love. And sometimes we don't even pay attention to what we already have to love. And to realize that how much has been given, it, it, it just feels like it draws more in. So that's why right now in this moment, that matters to me. So Don, when you think about helping someone love their life, I want to ask you to name one small baby step that is specific, measurable, achievable, related, and time-bound to cause this purpose. And I want you to think about who will you cause it for? When will you cause it? How will you cause it? And consider if it might be you that you need to cause it for. How would you do that? What's one new really small baby step? To help someone uh, with their life. A colleague of mine, uh, a leader who uh, okay. comes to me and Time events. Out. Time out. So this is what it's going to look like. It's going to look rude. Okay. It's a colleague. Boom. That's all we need. We don't need to know anything about it. So okay. you have a colleague in mind. When will you do this and how will you do this? The, um, I want to do healthy vending with a colleague. In okay. the first week of uh, September, sometime in the first week of September, so this person can come up with a plan for hey, herself to. You don't need to okay. tell me any of the story. Okay. He's going to do healthy venting. He's going to do it by what's the actual end date, Don? Uh, seven. Okay, now just so you know, Sinet, all I wrote down was venting September seventh, Holly. Because then when I go to put it in the notes, I haven't had to write a bunch. Awesome. So I can picture that. I can picture that as a complete thing by a certain Done. date. So the core values, I want to go through those with you. Core mm -hmm. values we're talking about are the ones for this program. And they're these up here. They're not these down here. Live a life I love and love the life I live. Be the predominant creator of my life. Be vital and healthy. Live my true nature and purpose. Friendship, over communication, leadership, and love. So those are the, the, the core values. What's one new different baby step, different from the one up here? Sometimes people also give a baby step of something they're already doing. New is underlined and capitalized because it's not something you're already doing. So what's one new different baby step that you could take to use the core values, one or more of them, to cause this purpose? Again, who, when, how, and would you be the one that would benefit? So I'm going to pull them back up again so you see them. Or would you? What would you use in this list to help you or someone else love their lives? Three, be vital and healthy. Okay. So how would you do it? Commit to being active at least 30 minutes 
per day and log it every day and, 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 and make it part of a journal. Okay, uh, when does that end? It can, it's ongoing. Nope, time bound. Inspect and adapt at the end of September. Okay, are you sure you want it to go that long? I mean, you can, but this is about you having a small success that's concrete. Okay, do you see what I'm saying? I'm making sure he's not setting himself up to fail. And okay, he, emotional intelligence is the purpose of mentoring. It is to help you move from awareness to managing things. What's one behavior change that you want in yourself, Don? And how will you do it? The thing I want to cause in others is to get their ideas to emerge. So inviting them before I share my ideas, because I'm always so anxious to share my ideas, uh, inviting others to share their ideas when we have uh, a problem we're trying to solve, for example. So and I invite the other person to talk first. Exactly. Okay. When, uh, when will you do that? In first week in September. Okay. By end of September, September 7th, who will you do this with? Well, he might be gone. Uh, my colleague, Neil. Okay. Do you see how important it is to have something specific, Don? Because otherwise you'd, oh, I thought about this person, but they're, they're gone. Do you agree okay. with your intrinsic colors, Don? Yes. And what's yes. one positive quality of your first color? Blue. And how does it show up in your work? If you're asking him this, he might need to go back and review his own color blue and, and recall it better. But if you have written something down, you can say, hey, Don, remember, that's all about inspiration, spirituality. But you don't want to give him too much. But now that you kind of heard a few of those, what's one positive quality that you can see in that, Don? I bring convergence on ideas, uh, bring folks together where they build upon one another. Like teamwork? Team, teamwork, yep. Collaboration, is that? Teamwork and collaboration. And is that how it shows up at work? Yes. Okay, now this one, this question is not about him managing something as much as him raising his awareness. He's mm -hmm. now aware, oh, the way that my blue shows up is I'm a person that can, you know, cor corral people and get them to collaborate together and play nice together. Okay. That's this kind of a question, Don, if you looked at it in advance, you'd probably be able to answer it, but you could also have it in your folder and go, oh yeah, I now I kind of look at those words and I know what blue is again, right? But that's yeah, that. yeah. All of this is redundant, so you guys memorize some of this, so it becomes lodged in your consciousness. All right, Don, what are three things you would like Sinet and I to remember about you related to your intrinsic colors and how can these help our mentoring? Well, um, sometimes I tell stories that can go off kilter. And if you recognize that, do a timeout so that we can uh, stay focused on what we're trying to get accomplished. That's one. Okay. Um, another thing is um, I can be hard on myself at, at times and Give me a timeout on that as well. The third is I get really good feelings when I when I know that I have done something to improve your well-being, where I've I've helped you in any sh shape or form. Appreciate what you contribute to me. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And you know what's so beautiful about it, Don? Blues are storytellers. And it's beautiful that you're saying, stop, save me from myself. <laughs> Number seven, yeah. you learned about creating your blueprint. Did you experience resistance to doing it? Yeah, I mean, this is the second time around. What are three benefits you experienced doing it anyway? It gives me more in touch with who I am and what I want to cause. Okay, that's one. Uh, uh, direction also. Okay. A plan. Okay. And and it gives me confidence that I'm 
can move forward. I have forward momentum. Okay, gives you that confidence. Okay, good. What is your purpose, Don? Inspire enthusiasm and confidence so we thrive together. Okay. How well are you doing that in your life at this moment, not overall, just at this moment? How are you doing while you're doing that? I feel that I am doing well in, in that regard, finding ways to connect with folks that in, in the community, not in a team setting, more in a one on one type of a okay. situation. So you're saying that it's you're doing well with it. So yes. what's one baby smart step that you can take that helps you experience your purpose more yourself or yourself? Mm -hmm. Trying to think here. I want to experience my purpose more uh, on an impact uh, uh, from an impact perspective within organizations. In other words, get, getting back into the coaching realm and, okay. and the baby step I want to make is to work with my strategic partners to on on strategic planning to attract more clients that's that's the baby step i want to make is it set up a meeting to figure out some steps that i can hold myself and ourselves accountable to to attract more clients what, is, what part of your purpose are you supporting in that uh inspire and enthusiasm and confidence in, in myself, right? In, right. in myself, that's that's where it's mostly uh, on uh, for and so for me. Your smart step is to try to find a way to uh, bring this into your life through work. Is that what I'm hearing? Yes. Okay. Yes. How will you do it? When will you do it? All in September. Uh, by the by, mid uh, September to have the first meeting with the strategic partners on that front. You're talking about life work systems. Yes. So you would like to have a meeting probably with George and I. Yeah. By the middle of September and go over some strategic ideas for how to do the partnership that you're. Yes. Working. Okay. Awesome. All right. How would you help another person experience your purpose and who would you do it for? Another person. Who needs your purpose? Who would you love giving and causing that purpose for very specifically? My good friend who is, got me into the role I'm in right now. Is, okay, so Kimberly. Uh, Kimberly. Okay. So how can you help her? I want to do a mind trust with her. So she has. You don't have to do the stuff. Okay. So you want to do a mind trust or you will do a mind trust? I will do a mind trust. Okay. I've actually I've already talked to her about it. By when are you guys going to complete that? By the second week in September. So September 15th, okay? Yeah. Okay. What are your core values, Don? Love, empathy, uh, presence. Okay. Experimentation holding ourselves accountable okay accountability perseverance okay i think those are all of them okay out of those which one is the most difficult for you accountability what's one new baby step you would concretely use accountability to cause your purpose and with whom you're using the core value of accountability to cause your purpose for whom? For myself. I'm, for yourself. I'm the, okay. the accountability for myself by uh, going through my blueprint and filling it out to come up with more smart goals. Okay. The smart goals that align with everything in my blueprint. What will you do that by? By the end of September. Okay. Uh, to have five smart goals. I'm just going to throw five out there. Okay. 
that align with proactively share my SMART goals with Sunet by the end of September. Okay. And then do you have one of your visions written out? I do. I don't want you to read it. I just want to ask you what excites you about it. So Don, you said you wrote a vision and you felt excited about it because it opened up these possibilities, correct? Exactly, yes. Seeing the impact in, in when you wrote it like it had already happened? Exactly. Okay. Did you have a child's mind where you were open to any possibilities that excite you without worrying about whether they were possible? Yeah, to some degree, but it, not as much as I probably could have. Okay. How do you know where you have and where you haven't? Actually, um, I had a practice mentoring session with uh, Nikki, and she pointed that out. Why are you limiting to, to this? And, and then that made me realize, well, that's because I wasn't using a child's eye. So if, have you started to move in the direction of this vision? Yes. Yes, I have. Okay. What's one baby smart step to move it forward? And for you, it could be what we just talked about. But yeah, and that's exactly it. That um, the the one, and and quite frankly, the vision is what has driven those answers I've given you. Okay. Okay. All right. And, so, have you shared your blueprint with anyone besides me right now? Yeah. So maybe when you make your adaptations, who will you send it to? I'm gonna send it to Sunet for sure. Mm -hmm. So Don, I appreciate how much you are so coachable. You don't take it personally when I, you know, when I help you modify things. And I absolutely appreciate that about you. Well, thank you. Sinat, can you see how it's kind of matter of fact? Yeah, 